everyone, it's Hedgehog here. Apologies for the short interruption, but without some kind of introduction to this video, a large portion of you are going to be either confused and or very mad at me. Uh, so, I've said in several locations, several different times, many different places, that I'm not going to be starting any more Let's Plays as Doki Doki Literature Club characters. Um, and this is mostly just because, you know, I've been making Doki Doki Literature Club videos since last October. It's uh, kind of time to get on to uh, some other things. However, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making Let's Plays altogether. Um, because I like having, you know, two or three videos to fill in the gaps of my recording schedule every week. It's really nice. Um, so, when I first came up with the idea of doing Let's Plays as characters, like, two years ago, I say came up with other people have done it, but I hadn't really seen them, and I just... Um, I had had the idea to play really niche, like, point-and-click adventure games and shit like that as Dave Strider from Homestuck. Um, however, I never really did it because I couldn't convince myself I could get my voice low enough to actually do it. Like, you know, I do a pretty decent Dave Strider voice, but, like, it, not enough to convince that I'm actually a guy. So, I never did it. Um, however, <laughs> here comes the kicker. I've realized something over the last month, uh, on the streams largely, in part due to Ally Muse, thank you very much, um, that Buffsuki69 and Natsuki are no longer the same character. They haven't been the same character for a very long time. Um, probably ever since the Dark Souls video, they have not been the same character. <laughs> because if you go back to the original game, because now many of you have different opinions of Natsuki now because of the fan base and because how her character has been flanderized and changed by the fan base. But if you go back to the original Doki Doki Literature Club, she's actually, you know, this lolly Sundari who's kind of grumpy but has a really cute side that she doesn't like a lot of people to see and she really genuinely cares about her friends. Buffsuki69, on the other hand, has become a memeing, trolling, hyperactive female version of of Dave Strider. Can you see where I'm going with this? So, this video today marks the debut of Buffsuki69 as her own original character playing niche, weird, eclectic video games. Now she has a face cam, she has a silly wig, but never fear, she is still the same Buffsuki69 you have all come to know and love. So please, before you close out this video, because it is not Doki Doki Literature Club, I beg of you, give it ten minutes. Pretty please. My life depends on it. I'm not kidding. Give it ten minutes. And if you still don't like it, then you can turn it off and you never have to watch another one again. So, without further ado, take it away Buffsuki. What's up, bitches? It's your girl, Buffsuki69, and today I'm here to play this fucking game, I guess. Because you people keep telling me to play it. Buffsuki, play this deadly parable! Buffsuki, play this deadly parable! I'm gonna do it! So, here I am. I'm gonna play it. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all so happy with me. Yay, Buffsuki's finally gonna play my favorite game. Don't get used to it. So... Here we go. We're gonna begin the game. The end is never the end is never the end is ne Oh, that's so clever. The only thing I really know about this game is that apparently your choices matter, but like every other game says that and guess what? They never do. So we'll see what kind of meta bullshit this game has for us. Yay. Like this, this fucking thing right here. This is some bullshit. This is some meta bullshit. I see what you're trying to pull, game. I see what you're trying to pull. And I don't think I really appreciate it. I don't think I like it. I think you're just trying to be pretentious bullshit. Mm-hmm. Pretentious bullshit right there. Am I going to need to cut on the fucking loading screen because it's taking so goddamn long to load? Huh, game? Huh? Huh? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll cut. I'll cut. I'll wait till the loading is done. You know I will. Better not test me, game. Okay, finally you're going to load. Here we go. Finally, jeez, what's taking you so long, man? Oh, and now you're gonna stop again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course you are. Of fucking course you are! Because you hate me because I made fun of you. <laughs> There's more where that came from. Trust me. There's more where that came from. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, boy. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Oh my god, Orders this sounds like the most boring thing I've ever heard. Desk, telling him what buttons to push. 
how long to push them, and in what order. Big this Brother is much? what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. How can you relish something like that? Though he had like been that. paid exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I see your meta bullshit game. I see it. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. It took you an hour no to figure this out. No one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Uh -huh. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. I don't trust this narrator, his dude. And regained his senses, I don't like him. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I don't like him at all. No, I don't think he has my best interests at heart. Oh, am I... Oh, I'm playing the game. Oh, fuck, I'm playing the game. I see your meta bullshit game. Is this made in Source Engine? It moves like it was made in Source Engine. It moves like Portal. Like, it's really, really floaty. It's weird. All right then, Mr. Narrator dude. You want me to go out of my office and see what the fuck's up? See what these bitches are up to? All right, fine. I'll do it. Fine, fine, fine. Office. Can I open any of these doors? No. No, I can't. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know, Mr. Stanley Narrator. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You seem to have all the answers. What's going on here? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. You trying to tell me something? Hmm? You trying to tell me something, mister? All right. Office. More office. It's a lot of office game. Why is that door open? What is... What is that? Mmm, I don't like that. Keep dry. Crates. Doors. Can I open this door? It's 420! Hey! Every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. I think this narrator is getting a bit cheeky with me. I'll check everything I damn well please. Fuck you. Someone spilled coffee. I hate Mondays. I do too. I hate them so much. I want to die on Mondays. Just a little bit inside. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait a second. Okay. I seem to be presented with a conundrum here, right? This guy is telling me to take the door on my left. I don't think I want to. I think I want to take the door right. Why are you giving me an open door if, if you want me to go left? Why are you giving me the option of taking right if you want me to go left? Huh? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Fine. You know what? You know what? I'm going to take the right door. Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, you're gonna weave it right back into the story like some kind of some kind of writer? Fuck you. That wasn't fun at all. I'm just getting shepherded back along the path I'm supposed to take for whatever reason on this bullshit story adventure, whatever the hell it's but why are these offices all so dark? It's depressing. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Immaculate? Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Immaculate, my ass. There's shit everywhere. There's papers on the floor. There's, there's, there's papers there. There's, there's boxes. There's, there's, there's coffee yes. mugs fucking everywhere. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. You shut up. I don't need your sass. 
I don't need your snark, your but salt. Eager to get back to business, I love these words start Stanley with S. took the first open door on his left. Um. Why are you giving me enough? Okay, you're doing this bullshit again. I can take the door on my left. But I can also take the door on my right. Left. Right. Oh, oh, am I gonna do it? Oh, am I gonna do it? Oh, oh, I might do it. I might do it. Oh, oh, no. Nope, I'm going right. Fuck you, I'm going right. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I'm going to ignore those narrator's comments. I don't like his salt. I don't like his salt at all with his snarky British voice and his pompous British pretentious fucking attitude. Yeah, we don't do that shit here. We're too emo for that. I can't even jump. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Uh -huh. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Uh -huh. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh -huh. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Nope, fuck you! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Danger everywhere. Are you yes! convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes, Why? clearly! I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Uh-huh. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. Fine. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Fuck you. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Fuck you! No, I'm not going through your I red door. I don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Fuck you! All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? Yeah. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yeah. don't let me stop you. Oh. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? You weren't what such did a fucking prick! What you see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I don't need no skill trees, buddy. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay, fine. Oh. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. All right, I'll bite. See where this is going. Fine. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I don't like it. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, like you saw ways the game could Makes be me nervous. to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? Yes! That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Hmm. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's uh -huh. take a look. Okay. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. This is not what I fucking wanted. This is not what I wanted. I don't care about what these other fucking people are doing. I care about what the fuck I'm doing. I'm the only important motherfucker in this joint. Oh. Ha 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 ha. I have not been playing this game for seven hours. You are objectively ranked. I am last. Great. Great. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. I don't know where the fuck I should go. 
Should we go this way again? See what happens. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, I that is a no? I got a prototype a of the new no. game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Fine. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Okay. Whoa. Oh, you're gonna load some more now. Oh, that's great. That's so great. I love loading. Oh, that's good. In this good. game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. You're trying to say something here. I don't quite know what it is, but you're trying to say something. Once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't oh. you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Oh. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Fuck you. Bye, baby! I hate children anyway! You're fucking, you're fucking crying is horrible! Go burn! Fuck you! Did yep. you do it because you hate babies yes. or purely to spite well, me? Well, it's kind of both, because but you know. Matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience oh, really? for me. Oh, really? I I'm think you could think a little bit. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Oh. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Okay. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Okay, I can do that. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. What are you doing? Buddy, what are you doing? Ah! Well, Stanley, is this any better? <laughs> yes, the fuck one thing you. Always desired. This is kind of funny, but fuck you. I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Well, well, no, be because I can't jump and I can't I'll destroy this. blocks. This is not Minecraft. You. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Oh, are you? <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. You are shit Look at, at Minecraft. I've made better than that, and I am shit at Minecraft. I feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I feel so ashamed. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. You're going to kill me when I get in here, aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. I can't even get through the fucking door, you asshole. Okay, there we Isn't go. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? <gasps> it could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Oh! Diamond everything. Great! Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Materialism. Oh, are we going this way? Okay. We're going mining, I guess, in Minecraft. Who would have thunk? Oh, wow, there's actually a cave here. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. And this is not as dark as it usually gets. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. What are you talking I'm about? You're leading me down a singular path. Linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Oh. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Whoa. Hey, I, I... You only gave me one path to go down. That wasn't too open-ended. You didn't even give me anything to mine with. You just said, follow this path. Do what you are, like a little sheep. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. That's what you're trying you, to say, You, huh? trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's <gasps> inspired. I couldn't I can, have done it any better myself. I what is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I can't believe you used Portal. 
I can't believe I'm playing Portal in the Stanley Parable. What the fuck is this game? Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. It's a different sound effect, though. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. No, but I, I really don't care much to back into it. through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you what? here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. You're going to abandon me so, in why Portal! Don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Yeah, man. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck balls. with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. You grew some balls, man. I applaud that. You grew balls. You go make your art. Kind of starting to not hate you so much. Fuck. I hate everyone. How could I not hate him? But anyway. I know what you're trying to say, game. I know what you're trying to say. That video games are supposed to be art. And video games are supposed to have meaningful choices and consequences. And by only giving us one option or choice, you make the experience boring as shit. But of course, by doing just that, it doesn't make the game that enjoyable. So we'll see what happens. If I, cause, cause now I, apparently I'm stuck in this room. But what is this? Can I go down here? <gasps> oh, I can. Oh, oh! We're not done yet. Oh, work in progress. Filing cabinets. Well then. Well, well, well then. Seems this is just a bottomless abyss, whichever way I go. Oh dear. Welp. I guess I'm just gonna have to kill myself. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh. Now I'm here. This is an old version of the office. Ooh. Hello. I feel like I'm suddenly in a horror game? Like this all is feeling really abandoned and weird. Hello, Mr. Narrator Dude? Mm. Mr. Narrator Dude, are you here? Um, I might, uh, might need some help. I uh, think I might have gotten a little bit trapped in here. Um, hello? Hello? Anybody here? Anybody at all? Hello? Hello? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, wait! This looks familiar. Let's go back to my desk. <gasps> Let's go back to my desk. I can go back to my desk. Oh, this looks a little bit cleaner. This looks like it's from the fucking 70s. Wood paneling everywhere. Wood panels. Oh, hello. What's this? Is this a... Oh, is this another fucking dead end? Oh, come on! Come on, I want to play your game now! Come on. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. 
to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. That's really ominous. I can wait.